This is a, a short vocabulary review. I won't do this very often, but uh, now in the beginning there are a lot of new words. So I figured we should uh, go through some of them. Comments are for the programmer only. You use a double slash to make, make it green. Statements are instructions for the CPU. They always end with a semicolon. Variables are memory slots and you have to declare variables which means that you create create them or you allocate memory. You reserve some space in RAM for your code and data and everything else. The data type uh, decides what kind of a variable you're making. We have had uh, an integer as an example and then in the code we packed up the engine class into an ob uh, object. So the data type was engine for that one. The label is the actual name of the variable that you can use to refer to it later in code. And uh, to assign is to send data to a variable to store, to store things in memory, basically. Uh, an operator is a symbol which manipulates or compares data. The one that we have used so far was the assignment operator, which uh, sends data to RAM. To initialize is to make the first assignment of data to a variable. This is, can be done automatically by, uh, by C Sharp. It can assign a zero to it or you can assign such as we did when we created the Declared, declared the engine and then we assigned to it right away in the same line of code, then we initialized it. Scope was the lifespan of a variable. If you declare the variable inside a method, then it has method scope and it will be removed from memory when the method finishes running. If you have class scope, you declare it inside the class and it will live as long as the object of the class lives. Methods are containers. They contain a lot of statements with a common purpose. You should try to keep them short. All containers have uh, curly brackets, by the way. To call a method is to jump from one method to another one. And to return is to jump back when you're finished with the previous method. Uh, when you call something, you can pass in some parameters. A lot of methods accept parameters and uh, when they are finished running they can return a value and that return value can then be used by the previous method. Uh, so far we haven't returned anything so we have used the keyword void. Classes are collections of methods and variables. Uh, classes need to be placed in RAM as well. So you need to pack it up as an object and uh, that is called to instantiate a class into an object and you do that with the keyword new. The constructor was a special method that had the same name as the class itself and uh, you use that when you you call that when you instantiate it into an object. The destructor is called when you remove an object from memory. Uh, C Sharp has uh, pretty much managed this for us so we never need to worry about it. That is why it's called uh, managed code, managed DirectX and so on. Uh, fields is just another name for variables if you declare them in a class instead of a method. Uh, and the uh, properties are specialized method which uh, manipulates a variable or if you want you can see it the other way around as a specialized variable that is uh, declared similarly to a method. Uh, and an event is a method that is called by Windows when something changes. 
and it doesn't matter if it's a method or a property or an event they are called members of a class or class members and uh, last uh, we need to put all the classes into a folder and uh, in programming it's not a folder it's a namespace